Have you ever wondered why there are so many MG Rover enthusiasts about? When, as everybody knows, the British car industry is an absolute joke, and it always has been. Maybe it's got something to do with patriotism. But those people who claim to be patriotic always have foreign cars and never ever support British industry. And they're the same people that drive around in their German minis having a right good old laugh at the likes of MG and Rover for being useless, useless horrible cars that never work. And it simply does not matter how often their brand new car is broken down on the hard shoulder because of some stupid sensor or the thing has rotten away after 10 years, they still know best. And you know what? Considering their age, there really is still quite a lot of MG Rovers about. So they can't really be as bad as what most people think they are. And maybe that's why there are so many enthusiasts. Just maybe MG Rover are actually a lot better than most people give them credit for. You really do need a sense of humour to be an MG Rover fan. So self-deprecation is certainly a tool this is useful to have in your box. We're no different from Ford enthusiasts. The only difference really, I suppose, is that we can use words of more than three syllables. We're just like Vauxhall enthusiasts, but our knuckles aren't dragging on the ground. Or Audi enthusiasts. But watching those guys is like watching 80 chimpanzees in a prison cell all arguing over who's got the tightest pants. There we go. I've just made fun of other people's cars. But it's okay because they do it out of my cars and yours. They can't really complain about it, can they?